welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off with some Pixie Rose Oil. This really nourishes the skin and I like to use it as a bit of a primer. So that's gone everywhere. And I'm now using the Amazonian Clay Foundation from Tarte, which I've not used in forever. As you see, it's too light for me at the moment. So now I'm using the Iconic Pigment Stick just to really warm everything up. This is in 3.2. So mainly just to warm my skin up, not really contouring, but you can use it as that if you would like to. I'm now highlighting all of the areas with, this is with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, I absolutely love these concealers, but I go through them so quickly. Um, so yeah, just under the eyes, jaw, forehead, nose, you know all the areas to do them. Um, and I'm just using a sponge to blend all of that out. Make sure you dab, do not wipe. Same with the powder that I'm using at the moment. This is the Maybelline Mac Mark powder. And the one that I'm using now is the NYX HD powder in Banana, which is absolutely amazing for highlighting under the eyes. This is the Nip and Fab Contour Palette. Absolutely love them and their new makeup range. And this is the MAC. What are you? Give me some, Matt. give me some. This blush is from NYX, I can't think of the colour right now, but I'm gonna pop it down below for all of you, so in the description. And this is the Babor, um, this is eyebrow gel, kind of an eyebrow gel, I can't think of the name again. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It's meant to be a bit like, um, oh my God, what is it, Wonder Brow. Meant to be a bit like that, so it's really solid, it does not come off your brows whatsoever. But obviously, this is a bit cheaper. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I just run the brush through it just so it makes it a bit more natural So I don't use the applicator brush that it comes with but feel free to use it But I find it easier to put it on my hand and then use an angled brush Easier that way. This is the Morph 35W palette and you can see I've just taken orange put it all over the outer corner and put it into the crease as well and I'm doing the same with Real Gart from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette now I've gone into the Tarte palette, this is the Amazonian Clay Tarte Lit One um, into the brown. So I've put that just on the outside just to give it a little bit more depth into this uh, eye look. I'm now using the Select Cover Up Concealer I believe to do a half cut crease. And then I'm going into this pigment from Peaches and Cream. This is called Wish, which is like a really nice gold colour. Because the concealer is still wet, I just pat it all back on. I'm just using a little brush just to blend them two colours from brown to gold together, just so it's not two block colours. I then used nylon just into the inner corner and the brow, just to brighten the area. And I've just put liner on, which is the Rimmel Glam Eyes. This is the Iconic Lashes in Fiery. Look how amazing they look. I absolutely love their lashes at the moment. You need to check out their new range. I'm now just going ahead with some new liner. This one is Rimmel Scandalize and some Babor False Lash Mascara. Oh my God, this palette from Urban Decay Highlighter Palette is unbelievable. I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. And this is going everywhere. Literally, on my cheekbones, on my nose, on my chin, on my forehead, everywhere, because I really want this to be really glowy. And then I'm going back into another iconic product. I absolutely love them. This is the Illuminating Drops. I believe this one is in the original, and yeah, it's going everywhere. Whenever I go out on a night out, this goes on my chest, on my shoulders, everywhere is going to be glowing. And now for lips, this is Rimmel Tiramisu, as usual. I've literally just run out. Look how short that is. And then I'm going into lipstick, which is from Urban Decay. I can't remember the colour. Again, I'll link it down below. But it's really nice and peachy. But I'm just adding a bit of MAC Peach Stock as well, just into the centre. So it's a little bit lighter. And then going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.